Every once in a while, you get to drive a car that's worth putting on a suit for. So that's exactly what the editor-in-chief of Double Clutch Magazine and I did. What is this? This is the 2017 Rolls-Royce Wraith Black Badge. What's the Black Badge mean? It's blacked out. Well, it's blacked it's out. It's blacked out from the factory. From the factory. It is Rolls-Royce from, Go it's, it's made in Goodwood, obviously. Yeah. And it's their answer to what the younger generation, our generation, is doing with these cars, blacking them out. <laughs> our generation, as if, you, you say it like I can afford it. No, I mean, <laughs> the, it's the general age. Yes, because how much does this car cost? Over $500,000. Over $500,000 for this car. And how much is the black badge addition to the- An extra hundred. An extra hundred thousand dollars. Okay. so. They did this because they didn't like the fact that people were just taking a rolls yes. and blacking it out. So they're like, yeah. why don't we do it from the factory? So, so they they would see the they would see wraiths come to you know the Oscars and all these other yes. events, and these cars would have black chrome wraps or ostentatious wheels on them. Right. And the guys at Goodwood said, we'll just make our own. Why and not? And they did. And this is it. How do I close the door? Uh, because it's really really far away right now. You push the button. What button? Oh, like uh, oh it says. It closes automatically. There you go. Oh, that's cool. Oh my, the steering is light. But like not light in a bad way. Do you know what I mean? Like it's Yeah, like, no, it's, it's, it's a perfect amount of light. Well, they, they're like, we did the lightness intentionally. Other manufacturers do light because they used an electric steering rack and didn't know how to make yep. it feel good. This is obviously an electric rack. Yes, but it, it's just but it, it feels intentional. Yes, it does. Yeah. Pulling up right now to a highway with cars going by. And I'll be genuine with you. I cannot hear them going. No. Can you hear this? Nope. Can you hear these cars I hear going nothing. by? It's great. That is. <laughs> I've been driving this car all week, and the uh, the most surprising thing has to be how quiet it is. <laughs> it's insane. It is literally like oh, yeah. genuinely amazing. Yeah. Like there's cars going by right now, and it feels like it's a video with the mute button pushed. Yeah. No. Tell me something about the engine before I. It is a 6.6 liter V12. BMW motor. BMW motor. Uh, it is uh, 623 horsepower and 642 pound feet of torque, which on the black badge is a 52 pound foot bump from the regular Wraith. Oh, okay. So in the black badge, they give it a little bit more oomph. Yes. Because it's the sporty version. Horse, uh, yes. Horsepower is the exact same. Torque is a little bit. A little bit more. Yeah. Sorry, a little more torque. Okay. Because it's the sporty version. It is. Although, is the car sporty? No, not at all. Right. Okay. So but, we'll but no, out. no, no, but it is, it does have a little bit of a personality of its own when compared to the regular race. And, oh, it just... Oh, there we go. Yep. Oh, lovely. Oh, my. Yep. It just moves you to speed. It just goes. Very quickly. Yeah. Oh, that's just wonderful. <laughs> and then you're sitting on the, and, you know, it uses tons of technologies to predict any imperfections in the road and make yeah. sure nothing gets communicated back to you because when you're wealthy enough to afford a half a million dollar car you shouldn't be you shouldn't have to feel the road exactly why your, would you want to feel the road your day shouldn't be disrupted by mm. road imperfections no, keep in mind this thing is on 21 inch wheels on low profile tires and it is an incredibly amazing ride for yep. that type of wheel like we're going down a back road right now for those yep. of you that are, are watching and the road is going like this and up and down there's little potholes and stuff but other than the occasional side to side body motion i feel nothing like literally nothing. Yeah, the body control is amazing. <laughs> it's, it's genuinely way beyond anything I have ever driven. The black badge is intended to lower the overall, the average age of the of Rolls Royce buyers. Because you know, people who are our age in our late twenties can afford Rolls Royce products. Of course. No, we really can't. No, we can't. Not even close. Absolutely not. Not even ever. No. Never in a million years. So again, with the acceleration. Holy, okay, so I didn't actually put my foot down before. It's genuinely fast, like for how big of a vehicle this is. Ah, it's nice. It's so quiet in here. Yeah. <laughs> Dual pane glass. Yes. So much noise cancellation. The acoustics are perfect. And the Rolls Royce bespoke audio sounds amazing. Everything in here is just so well crafted. Well, there I can't find any plastics. I was looking no, around a few no minutes plastics. ago. Like, I, like well, this... I, I actually I found plastic. The small buttons. <gasps> Rolls, come on. 
buds with it, but the infotainment is straight out of BMW. Right. It's iDrive, which is great because Rolls Royce Electronics, we don't know how they, historically. <laughs> historically, they're not know, always some, the best. Yeah. It, yeah. So we've got some German electronics in here to make sure things work. Yeah. No, this is just, it, it doesn't inspire sporty driving at all. But it doesn't, but it doesn't feel old man like an S-Class would. No, I or agree. A seven series. I while no. I like those cars, they're they they do give off a little bit of. I feel like I'm too young to be driving them. Yeah, this though, I feel like with us two dudes in suits at our age, yes, as ridiculous as I feel on a half a million dollar yes. car, this it kind of suits us. Pun I'd intended. Like, I'd like to. The, the interior of this car, for those of you who have never sat in a Rolls Royce before, it's kind of just at a level that you're not really ready for until you actually get into it. I cannot find anything in here that I would say that's a cheap material. Nothing. All the way down to the seat rails, which are chrome plated. Starlight headliner. Starlight headliner. From what I've heard from Rolls Royce Bespoke, they can cost so it's just under twenty grand for this option. Twenty grand. Twenty grand. Twenty grand. For the, these fiber, for optic, fiber optic, lights optic lights that are in the ceiling. The ceiling. But $20, but yep. you can okay. get them to. Um, whatever your favorite constellation is or if you have one that's special to you they can customize that oh so one of the, the one of the I best the parts of a, right here you could you could wow and um one of the best part of, of a rolls royce parts of a rolls royce is the amount of bespoke customizations that you can do well that was the original idea with them right it's crazy and, and they're still doing that and they which, say no two are the same and i and i respect that and that is what you're getting for when you pay that much money yeah you're getting a Rolls Royce that is a little bit unlike any other Rolls Royce. It's yours. It's Pure special. exclusivity. Exclusivity, 100%. That's what you're getting. Um, as for actually driving the car. Hold on. Don't forget about the fan speeds. What about the fan speeds? Off, soft, medium, high. Off, soft, medium, medium and high. high. And then there's max. There's max. Oh, could you, why would you ever need why max? Why would you ever need no. max? No. Uh, there's a soft fan setting. Yep. What other kind of ridiculous features do we have in here? That well, we have ventilated cool, seats. Cool seats. We have uh, active seat, massa like seat massaging oh, seats. Oh, we do. Where uh, are they? Uh, on your panel over here. Oh, over, oh, I see. Yeah, there you go. No, no, oh. the further one. Oh, that one there. There you go. That, oh, I just turned my heated seats on, I think. I'm turn that off. No, you push the button that'll actually allow you to control my seat. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I can yeah. control your seat. I can move you forward and aft. Yeah, I say aft because that feels more appropriate as a word for fore and aft. Fore and aft. There you go. Oh, there's the massager going up my left butt cheek. <laughs> um, yeah. So, but it's for, doing so gracefully. It is doing it very gracefully. It doesn't kind of like punch you in the lumbar like some seat massagers. That yeah, it, there's some there's something about the way that a rolls goes down the road that's just a little different. Majestic. Majestic is a really good word, and they they it's just it's so different from what I'm used to driving. Yes, this is technically just a BMW 7 Series underneath, right? Is this uh, the chassis from Yes, the it's series? the chassis from the old 7 Series. The old 7 Series, okay. But there's more to it than that. There's way more to it. There's you just can, so much more to it than that. It doesn't feel like a 7 at all. Right. Because there's there will be people who will say, oh, what a fan, oh, it's a well, fancy it's just, 7, it's, but it's not. It's not. And, and it anyone, who's, anyone who says that, I guarantee has never driven They've one. never driven a Rolls yet. You know what I want to do right now? I want to get in the back seat. Can okay. I do that? Okay. Yeah. You're going to drive. We're gonna get out. We're gonna. Why would you want to be in the back seat of a coupe? A coupe. Well, be, but but it's a Rolls. I want to experience the back seat. This is this isn't one for that. It is. No, it's absolutely not. Okay. But, but you can. But can I try it? And you then, can. And then I'll get in the front uh, seat. Absolutely. I would like to tell you viewers what it's like to sit in the back seat of a Rolls for consumer advice in case you have a family and you want to drive them around. Oh, uh, it's zigging at me. That's the BMW. So oh, actually, I'll have to close this door. Oh, no, I can do it from you the drive over there. You can do it from over there. There we go. Haha. -ha. Ah, okay, so it's not unbelievably easy to get in, but as far as coupes go, it's not hard to get into the back of this car. I put my aunt in there last night. She wasn't all that pleased. I am genuinely comfortable back here. You're like, no, it's not meant to be. You're not meant to sit back here. Yeah, this this is not a car to be driven in. This is the Rolls Royce that you want to drive yourself. You want to drive yourself. Which is why I'm I'm enjoying myself far more than I would be in the back, as you are. Although. I am very, very comfortable back here. I've got a starry night in front of me. I have a man driving me around, and I'm being moved forward in sumptuous comfort. There's a little mini mirror back here. I'm not sure what that's for. It's like a vanity mirror that I can't use. Why can't you use it? Because it's at a, canted at a bizarre angle. It's a, it's a mirror. It's really cute, though. Huh. Yeah. yeah so I, what do I have back here at my disposal for... I have a drinks holder with two different sizes. I have what appears to be a... Cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter and 
because you must smoke your cigars in the back of your rolls, apparently. I don't think I would. I don't think I would. No, you would never smoke. I, I mean, I don't smoke, period. But even if I did, I don't think I would ever smoke in a car because then that smell, yeah. you can never get it out. You never get it out. and It's the non-classy thing to do. And it smells lovely in here. It does. It does. It just smells like an like incredibly hides. expensive <laughs> incredibly expensive car. Actually, speaking of the hides, I'm looking at them right now and I've heard, we've all heard the stories about where they get their hides so that there's no scar marks or dimples of any kind. And you look at the back of the seat here and I'm like, oh, that's not leather. Oh no, it is. It's just incredibly smooth. Yes. Leather. It's just unbelievable. Well, the floor mats in this car are leather. The floor mats are leather. Is there another option? Yes. What is Lamb's it? wool. Lamb's wool it floor is, mats. The pile is about this thick. <laughs> Um, so you can take your, yeah, your, we, we your had shoes that. off and, and tamp your feet down into the lambs wool? Yeah, we had those on a wraith that we had uh, in the garage last year in the yes. dawn. And it was, it's, it's nuts. You don't want to put your shoes on them. Yeah, I don't think I would. That would be, you take well, your you, shoes you, off. I mean, you have to. I guess, because you're getting Where are you going to put car. your shoes? On the seat? Well, I, you might have a man that follows you around to take your shoes for you as you step into your rolls. Good point. Yep. The wraith drives rather unlike anything I've ever experienced. It quietly eats up the miles, and even though the interior is more comfortable than any car, or really anywhere that I've ever been, it really is meant to be enjoyed from the helm, not the back seat. The Black Badge Edition seems to welcome someone my age, and even though it still comes with an umbrella in the door, it's happy to whisk you away to the next event, or it's simply happy to accompany you on any journey, with its baritone V12 and a sense of style and sophistication known only to Rolls-Royce.